It's like, by the way, he's 11. Byron doesn't have three Bugattis like he said he did, and he's also 11. Oh, I didn't die. You're just, Sarah's iconic. She has like <laughs> so many iconic moments like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here. How you doing? I'm doing pretty well, but today I am with the most special guest I've ever been with my entire life, Eliana. Hi guys, happy to be here on the Sarah Dorothy <laughs> Little channel. But today we are going to be filming a girl talk. As you guys know, I do these pretty much monthly. We haven't filmed together like two years. Like guys, we're back. Like we're filming, guys. Okay, so basically, Ellie, what girl talk is, I ask on my Instagram story what kind of questions they want to hear. Okay. And then we answer them. Usually they're girly questions, things we're experienced with, the drama, the tea. So let's go ahead and just get into the first question. Cool. When did you meet and how long have you been friends? <sighs> oh my god, I remember when we met. You do? It was at the next level movie. And and you were like, oh. hi, I'm Sarah, nice to meet you. And I go, oh, I know who you are. Oh. I literally said that. I remember you specifically wearing these like really cute Louis, Louis Vuitton shoes. And I asked, I was like, are those real? And she was like, yeah, yeah. they're real. And, yeah. I, and I, I was like starstruck. I was like. Oh. So it's been, it's a, been long a while, time. like three years. Mm -hmm. And then we like really became friends when we started filming together. Yeah, it's like February. Yeah. 20. So ever awesome. since then. Who is your favorite friend? I like to say like I have like a best friend, a friend, and then like Loki a sister. Okay, so I would say Coco's my sister because I've literally known Coco for like four years now and we've like spent like weeks and weeks and weeks on end together. Mm -hmm. I would say that Aubrey is my best friend. Is that from school? Yes. And she's, I've known her since kindergarten. For my like favorite friend, like Brooklyn is just like, uh, overall and amazing. Like I never get sick of Brooklyn. Like I get sick of people really fast, but never Brooklyn. I met her once like during COVID, but it was for like a few minutes when she was at like Indy's house. Do you remember that? At she, Indy's like, house? She came to Indy's house? Yeah. Oh, her and Indy were friends at one point. Are they not anymore? I can't keep up with like everyone's like status in LA. No, I like, know. It's like it's, chaotic. Cause I'll have a friend that I'll want to hang out with, but I know if I hang out with this friend, another, another person's person gonna get upset. upset. That's like LA. And I never know oh, like yeah. who's on good terms and who's not. For me, I don't really have a best friend, honestly. I would say probably the closest thing, like, not closest thing, closest person I've had to a best friend is honestly like Jensen. Okay, and so you guys are dating right now. Yes, we are thriving. That is crazy. How long have you been dating? We got together for the first time, like November 2020, and then we broke up on our one year anniversary. People don't know that. On a one, on your one year, we broke up for a while, close to like a year, I would say. Oh my god, almost a year of being broken up. And then we got back together, and like around like like December, I would say. How different is your relationship with Jensen compared to the first time? Oh, that's a good one. Oh my god, you guys are older now too. Yes, we've matured so much. He was like 14, I was like 13. And once we realized that we kind of like matured a little bit, that's why we really tried to take it slow and kind of started to like ease back into things and now we're like great. It's nice because we, our communication's a lot better in this relationship, just we're like very open with each other, like we're obviously very, very close now so I don't have to feel like afraid to like talk to him about anything. I think that's a big difference. I would say just communication is like key in a relationship and that's something we didn't have before so. I think that's like actually amazing that like when you find your way back it does just like make it I feel like so much better. Exactly. No, <laughs> we're very happy to be back together. Were you guys like always kind of like low key together in between that year? Um, like no, like, like no. Like we were like not on good terms for like a little bit. But you guys had to like, see each other every day, yeah? Yeah, we had to film together. I will say that was really, ex that was pretty horrible for me. Uh huh. Cause there was like some stuff going on behind the scenes and it was horrible. Like I will say like I was really struggling and like no one really knew. But I'm happy it now. Was, it's like what makes you a stronger person though. Exactly. Like 100%. Better. What happened with you and your ex-boyfriend? Well it could be for both of us. Oh, it could be for like both your ex-boyfriend that's like now your boyfriend. Well like a Roblox That's two. Dude I had two yes two <laughs> Roblox ex-husbands and like and an ex-boyfriend on Roblox as well too. And now he keeps reaching out and he's like, he like wants he's you like, back. no, he's like, my friends don't believe we dated. Can we do like a Zoom? Oh. He cheated on me in Bloxburg. I joined his game. He had a wife and freaking kids. He also said that he was 15. He was 11. <laughs> so now he's probably like 13, 14. And this is all in Roblox? Yes. And then I have two 
ex-husbands as well. Oh. Sorry, enough about my Roblox. Would you like to share anything? <laughs> um, basically, my ex and I broke up two months ago. And I didn't even know that you had a boyfriend. Yeah, I did not post about it at all. How long were you guys together for? Six months. It's a long time. Mm -hmm. Half a year, dang. It was at my school. I feel like social media tends to like ruin relationships sometimes. I and especially because he's not an influencer or in like social media. I just don't think it needed to be known. But basically what happened was that he he was he was talking to a lot of other girls while we were dating. Oh, uh, that's a no-no. Okay, but were you guys like serious? Were you like very committed to each other? Yeah. Dating to like marry, or was it kind of just like a fun at Definitely the time? not dating to marry. Eliana, do Boom. you want to meet mm -hmm. Sophie Ferdy? By the way, love you. I mean, I actually met Sophie last year at VidCon, so we actually have already met. I just like to be cordial with everyone. I don't like to have issues with anyone. Are either of you bisexual? No. <sighs> You know what? But I support. I support any like LGBTQ things. But no. I'm just personally, I'm straight. Everyone actually has like said they thought I was bi, but I'm not. But you're not. Yeah. At least I don't think I am. How do you get a girl to like you? I am a girl also. Pay attention to this. We're gonna tell you the exact way to get a girl. Not being dry is very important. No effort. Don't like effort. Effort, yes, no, exactly. And it's like the little things. Like, I know for sure when I spend a lot of time with someone and when they like go out of their way to like do something for me or like mm -hmm. just like the little things, like I do usually have mm -hmm. interest. But little things go a long way. Mm -hmm. They really do. I know for me, like one of my favorite texts that I get is like literally them saying, like, what I was thinking about you. Like, know, thanks. It's just so sweet. Like, that's cute. And like compliments. I like, feel like we all like do. compliments. Yeah, just like something like your outfit was cute today. Yeah. I think like calling someone pretty rather than like hot or fine or bad is just like, it, that's like a little thing right there. It's saying pretty or gorgeous. Oh, well, you of can the just rest. kind of tell. A difference with what a person's intentions are. Yeah. With what they use. They're just so much more hard. Big difference. Big difference. So kind of I would say pay attention to those. Cause you can like I was saying, you can kind of tell what a person's intentions are, no, but like what kind of like language and vocabulary they use. Who was your first kiss, your last kiss, and your best kiss? God, what am I why can't I forgot my first actual kiss like on the lips? Oh no, like even it was for a freaking YouTube video with Jordan Matter. So I'll have like that memory for life. It got like 20 million views. Oh my gosh. Of literally my of first you kiss. you kissing him. Mm -hmm. Wow. My, my best kiss is just probably Jensen because I, he's the only person I've actually like genuinely kissed, obviously. My worst kiss, <laughs> I've said this before, not gonna say who it is. So pretty much what it is is I was with a group of friends. Yeah. And, and they were like, well, if you two have kissed, then this person and this person will kiss. So I turned to the guy, I was like, okay, we need to kiss then because we want to see these people kiss. So we did it, but it was like, it was like a miss. It wasn't even a real kiss, so, but like they did it anyway. So I was like, I worked. had my worst kiss with the same person. Are you so, <laughs> dude, why do we all kiss as one person? No, but I feel like that was like kind of a thing in our old friend group. It was! Like we Did all used to kiss. Spin the leaf. <laughs> I think yeah, I but kissed, that was like, like weird. I think I kissed like everyone. No, me too. It wasn't a make out, but I was like, it was no, just I, like a... I made out with... Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, you did? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. Oh, so you, oh, so you did. It was bad. Yeah, and actually recently, he tried to like recreate it, and I was like, no, because that was like actually the worst kiss I've ever had in my entire life. Like, I'm not doing that again. <gasps> I think my first girl kiss was Corinne. Okay. And that was, I think, my first kiss ever. Oh, like, that's actually list. really cute. No. <laughs> but it's cute because you guys are like besties, right? Like yeah. My first guy kiss was Gavin, and we were best friends, okay? And it was a dare because we were this young, so I like obviously like was like had no feelings. And then my best kiss. It had to be the guy that I was dating because it was like we had like actual feelings for each other. Yeah. So you know like passion really helps with a kiss. Yes. And then my last kiss was also him. Nice. Fun fact, um, the first time Jensen and I ever kissed, um, I had my eyes open the whole time and I was like freaking out. Have you ever been in love before? I have. I'm in love with Jensen. Probably the only ever like boy romantically I've been in love with. Ugh, that's like cute. Like ew, like you're like in love with someone like ugh. Um. I was, it, I, definitely a small love, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't like, you weren't like, like I'm there's like this so, man. Yeah, no. Like, there's so much more that I could give and that I could receive from someone, but for what it was, I was in love with him. What is the thing you regret the most? There's, it's deep. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely like there a lot. There are a lot of things. <laughs> Where do I start that's like, boom, 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 boom. 
I will say one thing for me for getting like my dances on Dance Moms because I got that. yelled at and like would lose. But you know what? Like honestly, maybe I don't because like I got airtime. Yeah, literally. It's like a good episode. When I forgot my <laughs> dance, I cried on purpose. People who know I cried on purpose, y'all, because I was like, I'm trying to get this like airtime right now. The and then it worked, and the whole episode was like was made about, about that then. No, that's, about a, that's a good one. Um, I think, okay, this one always comes to the top of my head when I think about regret. In fifth grade, my best friend at the time got her period, and I told her boyfriend, and then he told the entire school, and it was absolutely oh. humiliating for her. And oh. so I called her that day because I had a feeling the whole school was going to find out, and I was bawling. And I was like, I told your boyfriend he's gonna tell everyone. I'm so sorry. I still say sorry to her almost that's, every day. That's because I'm really close with her again. Like I've had so many friends where like they'll send photos to people and then they get leaked throughout like the entire school. Yeah, that's like, happened that's... a couple times this year at my school. <sighs> like that's horrible. I just think it could get leaked so quickly. That's like, just so idea. scary. So like, yeah, just don't. Send. Just better not to. Just if you want to, just do it in person. Last question: What's the best gift you've ever received? Gift? Jensen's a very good gift giver, I will say. Actually, does he get you a lot of gifts? Ugh. Well, the first ever thing he got me for Christmas, like right after we met, we were in Vegas, and this was like when I was obsessed with Titanic at the time. He saw this like $500 necklace that was like a copy of like the like Heart of the Ocean necklace. Wow. And we had just met. And secretly when I had left, he had his like sister go back and buy it and flew to Colorado. Um, surprised me in Colorado when I was there with my family and we went up to like a theme park in Glenwood and stuff and surprised me with the necklace. Like it was the nicest thing. Ah, oh, good gift, Judson. That's actually so cute that he like like genuinely thought about something you like. Yeah, but we always talk about we don't gifts are so stressful. We've established like when we're, later on in life we're like we're just like not gonna give each other gifts because we're like they're too stressful. Because I get him stuff too and it's like I don't know how I'm gonna one up this. <laughs> Cause I feel like I can't get him something worse. Like worse, yeah. We're still gonna get each other gifts, just not like expensive materialistic things. Like I think special yeah. things are like homemade. Like that means no, just yeah. as much. Um, I don't like I don't even think I should say a gift because nothing compared to that Titanic necklace. So it's okay. But we that doesn't have to, to be expensive. Sorry. No, special. yeah, but like it was special too. Like expensive and special. <laughs> so like <laughs> double whammy. Got you good. <laughs> Got you good. And y'all, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much, Eliana, for coming yes, on today. Of course, I greatly so much appreciate fun. it. I love you guys so much. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications if you never want to miss a girl talk. Um, follow Eliana on all of her socials. Follow me on all my socials. Or don't. It's okay. Love you guys either way. Bye!